My name's Robin Jay and I'm speaking with Stephen Marshall, Director of Learning and Teaching at UNSW. Hi Stephen. Hi Robin. Increasingly across the UNSW community we're hearing the term TELT platform. Can you explain what TELT is and your vision for this TELT platform? TELT stands for Technology Enabled Learning and Teaching. Um, Increasingly, we uh, uh, have available to us a whole range of technologies that will provide all sorts of opportunities to us uh, to support and enable and enhance the experience of learning and teaching, uh, not only in higher education institutions, but in educational institutions more broadly. And the TELT platform that we're hearing about uh, is a new initiative uh, that uh, we are starting at UNSW to try and provide a, a platform of technologies supported at the institutional level um, that will be accessible to staff across the institution, regardless of faculty, regardless of school, um, to support uh, activities around learning and teaching. Um, you may have heard of e-learning in the past. Um, this is, a, a sense, a, another form or another way of, of talking about some of the aspects of e-learning, but uh, putting the emphasis on teaching and learning as opposed to the E of e-learning. Mm. So it's kind of switching the uh, emphasis around, the focus around. Yeah, switching bit. the focus away from the electronic technologies to the learning and teaching mm. process and recognising that we use a whole variety of technologies uh, to support learning and teaching. Uh, and um, the challenge for us is to identify what it is that we're trying to do uh, in enabling students to learn through our teaching practice and then identify which of the technologies, which of the electronic media, etc., that are available to us can actually support and enhance that process in the most effective uh, way to ensure that we have good learning outcomes and a great learning and teaching experience. Mm. Of, of course a lot of the uh, applications that um, are situated on the TELT platform already exist around UNSW in a number of ways and in a number of places. Mm. So how is this different to what has uh, occurred and what has existed in previous years? Sure. Um, I think the first thing to recognise is that it is a platform, it's not a single technology. And so um, we, ha and this is not new, uh, as you say, we have a whole variety of technologies that are used across the campus already. What will distinguish the TELT platform is that all of those technologies which are actually um, put onto the platform uh, will be centrally supported and maintained. They will all um, have the benefit of being able to um, integrate within with the university's administrative systems so that things like um, single sign-on, um, things like um, automatic population of courses with student data or staff data, all of those functions which at the moment have to be created for every single application um, will be afforded to uh, all of the technologies that reside on the, on the platform. Another really critical part of that in treating it as a whole rather than as a whole lot of disparate elements is that we can actually um, benefit from a, a, a holistic strategic approach to the development of the uh, technologies that are going to enable and support learning and teaching. Um, so part of the TELT platform is the establishment of a research and uh, evaluation space whereby we can actually uh, look at the emerging technologies that uh, become available from time to time, trial them in uh, small pilots within faculties with the cooperation of uh, staff and academics from different faculties, different schools who might be interested in exploring those technologies. Where we feel that they've got real benefit, real advantage to be offered, we can then um, escalate those to a, a, a formal trial through full integration into the enterprise system. Um, where they prove to be uh, of benefit and are likely to be of value in terms of learning and teaching, 
we can then uh, identify what the challenges will be to be able to ensure that they can be integrated and then maintained within the system. So a proper business case can be developed and all of this work can be done at a central location without having to have multiple periods of activity going on around or instances of activity going on around campus at mm. the one time. Because of course um, educational technologies are um, a bit of a movable feast, aren't they? I mean they're, it's this continually evolving. So mm. One of the problems that we have and have had in the past, and it's quite a common problem in educational institutions, is that somebody finds a technology that does some really exciting and, and has great affordances for either learning and teaching, they'll adopt it in their particular context. Other people will then suddenly see the benefit of it. They will also adopt it. So the usage of that application grows. But what doesn't often happen is that the support structure necessary to ensure that that can remain a stable, reliable uh, application um, doesn't often grow at the same rate or it doesn't often get considered as part of uh, the uh, development or escalation of that uh, technology beyond a trial to becoming almost an enterprise level system. What this is aimed to do is to provide us with an environment where all of those uh, applications, all of those technologies that are on the TELT platform can be considered to be enterprise level systems. They will be available to everybody. They'll be supported at an enterprise level to ensure that they are maintained appropriately. The other thing that we can do is by linking them into uh, our data capture, data collection process, we can actually monitor patterns of usage so we can actually do more formal and systematic research into how the technology is being used, what its real value add, if you like, to teaching and learning might be. Uh, we can also get a sense of, of uh, how widely the application is actually being used and when it's um, actually starting to wane in terms of its usage either by students or staff mm -hmm. and give us an opportunity to do some formal assessment of, well, is it now time to take the technology off the platform and replace it with something else? Uh, rather than have a, a legacy system, if you like, just operating in the background with no formal decision point as to when its end of life might have uh, occurred or might be occurring.